the greater good. Hey everybody, greater good mining here. So I ended up ordering a Ice River KS5L using my own discount code. <laughs> if you want to use my discount code, I'll show it on the screen. The discount code is greater and it'll get you two and a half percent off any of the Casper ASICs that are available, the KS0 Ultra, the KS5L, the KS5M at Ice River right now. And the reason why I did this is because I do want to continue to keep up with Caspa mining and the hash rate keeps climbing. So in order to keep competing, I have to get the higher hash rate miners. I kind of want to continue to keep somewhat of a consistent yield for Caspa. And I'm, you know, nothing I say is financial advice, but I am, I am bullish on Caspa. Obviously you guys know I've committed a lot of my time and a lot of my resources to Caspa mining through the bear market. And it, it has treated me very well so far. Now, I have not cashed out any Caspa until today. The first time ever I cashed out a little bit of Caspa because I wanted to buy this KS5L. And the reason why I use Caspa instead of something else um, is because everything else is so slow. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest. I initially tried to send Bitcoin um, that, I, that I had in my Tangent wallet. Um, and it was so painfully slow that it wouldn't even process my transaction on Ice River side. So I ended up cashing out Caspa and um, like sending a USDT, you know, so like Bitcoin, I, I do believe in Bitcoin for a long term hold, but it's really difficult to use it to make transactions like this because it is so slow. And this has happened to me before. Caspa is so fast. I knew I could flip it into USDT and I sent the USDT to Ice River or the KS5L. I do plan to replace that Caspa that I spent. I don't like spending my Caspa, so I will replace that Caspa. The, the reason why I bought the KS5L, the reasons why I'm bullish on Caspa is because we haven't even really scratched the surface yet on what it's capable of. Yes, it's fast, like I just said, and yes, the fees are low, but I just wanted to point out something and I don't ever want anybody to think I'm ever dogging any project. I, I'm not like a Caspa Maxi where I go after other projects. That's just not me. I think that there's tons of great projects out there, but um, I'm seeing stuff like this happen um, on Twitter and elsewhere. Um, there is kind of like people are looking for Caspa now that the KRC20 network is in closed beta. This is Shy Deshai, the dev, one of the very prominent devs for Caspa. Um, and I'm sorry if I messed up your name, I hope I didn't. But um, KRC20 network on CAS is in closed beta and there are all the signs of a Cambr Cambrian explosion of projects once it launches. Check it out, it might be what you're looking for. The Miners of Cadena says the Cadena ecosystem is not growing as they first envisioned. They were they were looking for another chain for their project. And uh, he seemed they seemed pretty excited to um, get in contact with Shai and maybe consider flipping over to KRC20 network for different things that they want to do with their ecosystem. So I'm never gonna dog another project. That's just not me. I'm just saying I'm excited that Caspa is gonna have this KRC20 started and there's things that you can do with Caspa that you couldn't do before that are coming. Um, the other thing I'm excited about is there's no tier one exchanges listing it yet, like Coinbase, Binance, and maybe they won't. I don't know what their plans are, but it's grown so much without the support of those massive exchanges. So if we get one of those exchanges, I'm just anticipating the price to go up and the ecosystem to evolve with these kind of things going on. So I'm very excited for this. And this is why I just I was considering just sticking with what I had. Um, but I'm looking at everything and I'm starting to feel like I am backing the right horse with Caspa. It's treated me well so far. Um, I am very happy with my results of continuing to be persistent in mining Caspa and trying to keep up with the equipment that is coming out. So that's why I did buy the KS5L, 12 tera hash, 3400 watts, 7699, but with my discount code, you can get it cheaper. Um, I'll show you in a second. Uh, price of Casper today, um, 18.2. So it is just wanting to hang around that 18 cent range. It's been sticky in that range. Um, it did hit an all time high a few days ago, and now we're kind of hanging out in the 18, low 18 cent range, which is great. Um, network hash rate today, this is June 6th, 2024, 322 peta hash. I like to go over these when I do my videos because it is crazy to see how much it has gone up. So 
Um, my first uh, Casper videos were way back in like May of 2023 when I was mining with my GPUs and my FPGAs on Caspa. Then I got my first Ice River in mid-June. I'll do a follow-up video on that pretty soon with my KS0, my OG KS0 and my OG KS1. I'll do a follow-up video, um, see how those things are doing. But you know, that hash rate's gonna keep going up. I've said this before. Uh, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but every time I do these videos, I wanna make sure if anybody's new watching this, they know um, there's gonna be continual growth in this hash rate. And you are counting on price appreciation of Caspa um, to kind of overcome this. Now, I am very hopeful with things like this coming out that eventually the fees are going to start going up. And I mean, it sounds bad. I love how Caspa has low, very low fees to send and receive Caspa, but we can't rely on fees alone when, or sorry, we can't rely on just um, fees alone from sending the Caspa back and forth. Um, we don't want just a bunch of empty blocks um, getting moved around and, and mining. You know, we need we need fees to support the network. Um, the, the, you know, the miners need to be paid to support the network. So fees from projects that will launch on Caspa will and should help the price go up. If people are using the ecosystem, it will help the price of Caspa go up. So it's, it's all, you know, risky. Um, anything in crypto is volatile and risky, but I am very bullish on Caspa with these catalysts that should almost be coming together perfectly right before potentially a massive bull run. So I am hoping that I'm making the right plays. I want you guys to be very careful with what you decide to do. Um, I hope I'm not like I don't want to ever like encourage someone to ape into something without knowing the facts. And, and I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So you do your own research. Know your tolerance for risk before you do anything. Um, I'm just showing you what I'm doing and, and giving you my opinion on what I think might happen. So um, I, I like to show this break even calculator. You guys have probably seen this a million times if you watched my channel before. This is the cost of the KS5L after um, my discount code. Now there will be tariffs on that. So let's add another 25% um, for me because I'm in the US, but it depends on where you're at. So know your own tariff laws also. So it'll be about 25%. So let's add another 1914 to the 7656. Okay, so that brings it up to 9,500 bucks, about 9,500 bucks. So when will the break even date be if the price of Casper stays the same and the hash rate stays the same, you know, and it only increases like about 100 uh, per day. It says April, 2025, uh, or sorry, March, 2025. So, now, people have said in my comment sections, like, that's not enough hash rate increase. You're nerfing the numbers. I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, you guys see exactly what I'm doing. And I always provide this calculator in the link of my description. You guys punch in what numbers you think, because all I'm doing is speculating. And you can speculate too. So just play with the numbers. But I'll punch in a thousand because there's people that have said, like, I think it's more like a thousand increase. And it says, you won't be able to break even. But that's if the price of Caspa stays the same. I almost hesitate to do this because I don't want anybody to think that this is what I think the price will be. But like if we're mining a project that we believe in, we are usually hoping the price is going to go up. So we can hypothetically say, I don't think it's too unrealistic to say Caspa could hit 30 cents, right? So that brings you back to, you know, breaking even in about six months from now. Um, say, you know, it's 50 cents, then your break even if you mined and hodled and sold at the right time would be September, you know? Um, and that's with the miner starting uh, hashing in July because I, I put that July date because the window to ship these is June 15th to June 30th. But I have a feeling they will ship towards the end of the window or even after the window. That's kind of historically what has happened. The longer you wait to order after they announce new machines, the further back in line you are, just know that as well. I'm not trying to like create urgency or FOMO or anything like that, but it's just being honest. People get frustrated and they're like, I ordered mine on this date. I'm like, well, then you waited like a, a long time before you ordered after that batch launch. So you're going to be in the line after a bunch of other people have already ordered. So like I said, not trying to create FOMO or urgency, but just know that those are the facts. Hoping that everyone does well in these machines. The other thing I'm worried about is that this hash rate goes up and then the price of Caspa doesn't go up for a while and then people get frustrated because they spent so much money on these machines. The yield isn't going to be a lot. We are truly counting on some of these catalysts to come into play, like the smart contracts and the maybe even a tier one listing 
to make Casper go to like something like a dollar even. Like, so we, we are counting on these catalysts working out. So there is high risk here, but I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. Let me know what you think. Am I crazy? Maybe I am crazy. Um, maybe this is a bad play, but so far the Casper miners that I have ordered have done very well for me. These are things that you have to consider also is like selling old hardware to buy new hardware if you want to keep up with a project that is on ASICs. So just know that that's another part of the game. It's There's a lot of thought that has to go into this. It's not just plug in the machine and money come to me and number go up. You know, there's a lot to this. It's like a bit of a game. You have to buy them at the right time. You have to have a risk tolerance and hold for long enough to have it be worth it or cash out every day until you ROI on the machine and then everything else is gravy after that. And then eventually there's going to be way more powerful machines that come out. So just understand all of that. If you're getting into Casper mining, um, I don't want anybody to FOMO into these unless they understand the full story. And I, I probably will do more videos like this just because if you're new and you're, and you're coming to the space because you're excited because you see the price of stuff going up, I want everyone to know. And if you're here and you've, you're getting bored of me saying this, I'm sorry, but I just want to make sure that anybody new that's watching this understands the real deal. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you think this plays dumb or if you think it's a good one. I, I don't know. I don't know what will happen. You know, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see how I do with these ice rivers, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The other thing I've got going on that I want to let you know is I'm going to be going to Mining Disrupt June 24th to 26th in Miami. So if you're around, come say hi. I'm probably going to be creeping on Ice River's booth quite a bit, and I'll be hanging out probably around Terra Hosting's booth. If you see me, come say hi. And the other event that I'm going to is the WDMS, like the World Digital Mining Summit with Bitmain. So I will be there. If you guys are going, let me know. Say hi. June 17th to 18th in Las Vegas. So come say hi. You can also use, um, I have a discount code if you're looking for tickets for Mining Disrupt and for this uh, Bitmain conference. So anyway, um, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good. <laughs>